Hello and welcome to Top Story. French Foreign Minister Bernard Kouchner arrives in Colombia today on the second leg of a journey to help expedite the release of hostages held by FARC guerrillas, among them the French Colombian citizen Ingrid Betancourt. On Wednesday, he held talks in the Venezuelan capital Caracas with President Hugo Chavez, who was instrumental in the release last month of Clara Rojas and former Colombian MP Consuelo González. Rojas and Betanco were seized together by the FARC six years ago. France's president, Nicolas Sarkozy, has made the release of the hostages one of the key aims of his presidency. Kushner's visit, too, uh, comes just days before the sixth anniversary of the capture of Ingrid Betancourt, which will be marked in France by a series of demonstrations around the country. FARC has proposed the exchange of Betancourt and 42 other hostages in return for 500 of its guerrillas held in Colombian prisons. Well, joining me now to discuss the diplomatic mission of Bernard Kouchner is Sophie Tonon, Deputy President of the France Latin America Association. Thanks very much for being on Top Story. Bernard Kouchner in Caracas uh, yesterday revealed that uh, an extra politician is to be released in addition to the three that we'd already heard about by FARC in the coming days. Do we know anything about the identity of these people? No, we don't have any uh, precision about them. I know that they will be chosen according with their uh, health situation, of course, but we don't have any names for the moment. But I suppose it's a positive sign. I mean, d does it give any hope? that Ingrid Betancourt may be released sooner than had been suspected? Oh, definitely. And uh, I think uh, France, as well as other countries and associations and people in Colombia, beginning by Betancourt's mother, uh, we all agree on the fact that the first step to peace is the release of hostages and the exchange of hostages, because we mustn't forget that there are also hostages in the hands of the paramilitaires and in the end of the government. So this prisoner exchange is the first step to peace. Fr France has made it a priority of its foreign policy under Nicolas Sarkozy to get the Betancourt file moving, to get the hostages relieved in, in, released in Colombia. But Ingrid Betancourt's mother has been striking quite a despondent note recently. She sent a letter to her daughter in which she said she was almost given, given up hope uh, that the Colombian authorities were going to do something to get a release, that she was worried that rather than seeking negotiations, the Colombian authorities wanted to use force uh, to, 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 to release Ingrid Betancourt. Do you have any feeling about that? Do you think she's correct that the Colombian authorities are more interested in using force than negotiation? Oh, definitely. And uh, the last example we have is when the two last hostages, uh, Clara Rojas and the uh, MP, were released. They confirmed on the uh, Colombian radio and media that attacks took place from the uh, paramilitaire and the government at the same time, the army at the same time. So definitely uh, Uribe has not left aside this military aspect of what he thinks he can, uh, he can obtain, that is to say the liberation of the hostages. But we all know that liberation by force will not, I mean, will, will gender m more uh, blood, uh, suffering, torture and so on. This is not the solution at all. The solution so, is mm. diplomacy. But what sort of diplomatic pressure can Bernard Kushner put on the Colombian government when he meets President Uribe today? There is um, there is a project which has been uh, which has been armed in um, between uh, Brazil and Cuba something like the month ago between Lula and Fidel Castro saying that a commission has to be uh, formed in order to. Uh, counterpart Chavez and the fact that Uribe doesn't want to speak anymore with Chavez. So the idea is to form a commission, a diplomatic commission between Brazil, Cuba, Ecuador, Argentina, France and Switzerland in order to organize an international pressure on Uribe. Without an international pressure on Uribe, things will not, um, will not go in the good direction. Well, as, as you say, he's not very happy about uh, Hugo Chavez of Venezuela continuing to have a role to play in this process, particularly after last month uh, when Hugo Chavez suggested that uh, the terrorist label should be removed from FARC. Uh, how will he regard the fact that Bernard Kushner uh, went first to Venezuela before he came to Colombia? I think he, he, you know, he's not, a, he, I mean, he will not consider this as a good 
from his point of view, is a good thing and a good sign. But I think he is stuck. He has no way, for the moment, to refuse a diplomatic pressure. He cannot afford, um, on the other hand, uh, we are on a political uh, uh, issue, in uh, electoral um, voting issue in Colombia. So I think he cannot afford, for the moment, to say, OK, no, the force is the only solution, and I don't want any international pressure, diplomatic or whatever, on you know what the government has to do, to do according with his own um, criteria. So I think he cannot refuse this commission. How does this play with, within Colombia itself? I mean, it's, it's clear there is a lot of international pressure on President Uribe to get the negotiations moving forward. But within Colombia itself, isn't his position quite popular? He's been very successful in the struggle against FARC. Doesn't it, doesn't it play quite well with him, if he, with, with the public, if he appears to be tough? One of the main uh, force in Colombia uh, um, for, for uh, Uribe is the uh, paramilitary system. 35% of the Colombian government is, are in the end of the paramilitary system, okay? A lot of uh, people, something like 20 people, are now in jail. They were part of the Uribe's government and for their links or with the drug system or with the paramilitary, which is quite often the same thing. They are all in jail and uh, under uh, accusation, criminal accusation. So this is one of the main uh, basis uh, for uh, Uribe. But the, I think the people, the Colombian people, is really claiming for peace and is quite aware of the fact that peace cannot be brought by force, if not by diplomatic uh, pressure. And, and what is important, Chavez stressed it out, and Kushner had exactly the same opinion, is that this diplomatic effort has to be something constant, has not big clash and publicity around one liberation, but it has to be a kind of constant and continuous pressure on the uh, Colombian government. Very briefly, do we anything, know anything about the, the state of health of Ingrid Betancourt? She's quite, I mean, as we know, she's quite depressed, uh, but I think she's aware of what is, you know, going around the world in order to free not herself, but also the hostages in general. And at that point, we're going to have to end it. I'm afraid we've run out of time for today. Thanks to our guest, Sophie Tonon. Join us again tomorrow for another edition of Top Story. Goodbye.